Well, here's a spot but not many people will probably make it to. So I thought I'd show it off here. It's gonna be a little bit difficult because of how much sun there is. It's sunrise over Lake Powell. So you can see the water out there. I'm gonna to have to just, it's not high quality when you get your hand in it, but to be able to see stuff. So in that direction of my hand is Lake Powell and Page, Arizona. Okay. We are up at a place called Powell's Monument. Now, what is it a specific spot or a specific area? I think it's an area um, because the map has pinpointed just kind of in the middle of nowhere, not on a cliff ledge, which, yeah. So I'm not sure. Um, but there are two cool peaks, this one, and there's one on the other side closer to the parking, which is like a 20, 30 minute walk because it's like kind of deep sand, no specific trail really. And we're in wilderness area, uh, right along the edge, right next to the parking is wilderness all the way out to here. Then down there a little bit. Okay. So then we have, um, the bridge that crosses the Colorado River, Grand Canyon. When does it start to become grand is the question, I guess. All right, so uh, Lake Powell, cliffs, and there's a bunch of places that jut out. So that would probably be the closest one to the parking right there. Um, but we came out to this little skinny point because I wanted to get some, I don't know, just saw it. It was pretty cool. It had a little uh, hoodoo just on the other side of that tree, which not that excited. It's very small, but I call it the little ho hoodoo point. Um, and then you get some pretty cool looks just like straight down. It's pretty awesome. Just out here uh, taking some pictures. It's uh, beautiful. We had some uh, pre-sunset, pre-sunrise, <laughs> pre-sunrise colors which I wasn't here. I was on kind of on top of, not on top of that, but like halfway up. And, uh, I was, it was, uh, it was all right. I don't know if you go over there, if you're going to necessarily have a better view of Lake Powell, but I think I'm going to give it a shot later on. You really don't get too much, but I think when you come out here, you do get a little view of the river and, uh, this was probably one of the best views was of that peak with kind of the Grand Canyon in the background. So some early morning, cool shadows on the ground, some pretty cool views of the sunset. It is so peaceful, no bugs, just a few birds flying by. <clears throat> I think the road, okay, so the road to get here is very long, some deep sand. Uh, if you put it in uh, you get, you know, you deflate your tires quite a bit and it's not too bad at all. It's actually quite easy deflated tires. And I did put it in, uh, towards halfway through, I put it in a uh, four wheel high. So, uh, it's pretty hard to shoot into the sun. So that's why I suggest the early morning sort of thing right before the sun rises, because once it rises, shooting in that direction becomes very difficult unless you just want silhouettes. So I think this is a good, I don't know, basic explanation of this area. Um, the way in is from over on the House Rock Road. And uh, just look for Powell's Monument and drive out that way. Even my GPS and the Google Maps had it though. You're not going to have cell phone reception except for a couple random spots. And out here, once you get out to the edge, because, you know, Page, Arizona is like visible. And so is Marble Canyon, which I had cell phone reception the other day when I was down there. Okay, that's it. That's my review. Um, now I'm going to get back to taking some pictures because that's all lit up.